Sports. I'm N5ZY. I'm the Vice President of the Edmund Amateur Radio Society, or EARS. Our club call sign is Kilo 5 Echo Oscar Kilo. For uh, EARS, I'm also the Licensing Class Coordinator, and that's why I'm recording this video. Um, today, I'm unloading from the 2017 Field Day, and this year we created an 80-40-20-10 off-center fed uh, dipole to use on our digital station. The digital station is uh, also used for CW and phone work when it's not in digital mode. Um, we run at 100 watts and we use this IC9100 that's behind me, except on digital modes. In digital modes we run about 10 to 20 watts. So let me show you the antenna and uh, we'll get started here. So here's the wire that I use. This is Wireman's uh, 532 wire. I bought 136 foot of it. It's uh, very good. It's, it's steel core with a copper clad. It's also called copper weld wire and it's one of the best things you can use for dipoles um, especially since RF uses the skin effect the steel core doesn't cause any resistance to the RF and the copper cladding is what's used by the RF for um, current for the current also <clears throat> um, the copper cladding allows you to solder to it whereas if you're using just a steel wire like electric fence wire you can't solder to it uh, the best you can do is bend it around something and screw down onto it um, or crimp onto it but the other problem that I've always had with electric fence wire is if you let go of it, it recoils back to where it started. Whereas this stuff, if you let go, it just kind of lays down. And I've used this and I've used electric fence wire in my attic many times over. And let me tell you, after using this once, I took down the electric fence wire, wadded it up, and threw it away and replaced it with this stuff. This stuff's much better. If you have to do any kind of maintenance with your antenna, <clears throat> you'll be glad that you have this. It also doesn't uh, kink or anything like that, so if you accidentally get it into a knot, <clears throat> it's alright. All you have to do is undo it, and that's because it's stranded wire instead of solid. So. There you go. It's got a silky smooth, tough coating. Again, it's copper clad steel, doesn't coil up, and since it's got a steel core, it doesn't stretch like regular copper wire would do. <clears throat> so here we go. I started off with 136 feet of this wire. And if I can get that clip off, you can see it. Um, I cut the 136 foot down to two different sections. Um, again, since it's off-center fed, you've got a long side and a short side. So the long side I cut originally to 90 foot and 8 inches. And I, on, on the one end, I put an eyelet and a loop with a ferrule, which is underneath this tape. And the idea is that I'll connect the ferrule here onto this connector. And I'll put the, connect, the actual spade connector there underneath that. So you get the idea. <clears throat> on the short side, this one, I cut it originally to 45 foot and 4 inches, therefore maintaining the ratio of one third and two third that is needed for the off-center fed. Um, during field day, when we finally got the antenna up in the air, I used the Comet Antenna Analyzer and decided to remove 16 inches from the long side and 8 inches from the short side. And then, to our surprise, the IC9100 built-in tuner instantly tuned it. it. It probably would have tuned it without me trimming it, <clears throat> but it, uh, with the trimming, it, uh, it did instantly tune it. And it tuned it on 80, 40, 20, and 10, but it also tuned it on 15 meters, which was a real surprise to me. Um, I wouldn't think that it would tune on 15, but it did, and it did it really well. Um, actually, for 15 meters, I had brought along a double bazooka 15 meter single band antenna, and I was going to suspend it underneath this off center fed, which we did do, um, <clears throat> and we did use it. So, there you have it. Um, this this antenna over here, by the way, is a 40 20 10, so it's a shorter one, 
and it's what we used in 2016. Uh, and it worked really well, and I've used it many times since. <clears throat> uh, this 80, 40, 20, 10, the first time I used it was this field day in 2017. So a huge thanks goes out to Jonathan Blackwell, KF5WUF, for helping me to assemble the Army Surplus poles and measuring and cutting the 550 paracord. <laughs> we cut a lot of paracord and uh, for getting this antenna in the air. Also to Oscar Stout WB5GCX who immediately came up with a great solution to suspend the 15 meter double bazooka below the 80 meter off center fed with some helping hands from James Bain KF5YYU. I uh, wanted to say thank you to all those who helped. <clears throat> we had a wonderful field day and just for giggles this is the off-center fed, I'm sorry, this is the double bazooka that we suspended underneath the off-center fed. And when we switched between the two, we honestly couldn't differentiate which one was which. <clears throat> it was very interesting how, how well this even worked on 15. And I, I don't think it should, but it did. Uh, these are the ferrules that I used to permanently stamp these ends um, so that they can be tied to our 550 paracord and and uh, suspended and I believe that's it thanks 73